Hey guys, so today I want to show you a dish that's near and dear to my heart. It's probably one of my favorite Hungarian dishes. This is called Turos Chusa. Turo is the word for curd cheese and Chusa, well, it kind of means slide, like as in it's so good it's gonna slide down your throat. You probably wouldn't think of this pairing. It's curd cheese served on noodles with some sour cream mixed in and then topped with bacon. I'm going to show you the version that I learned from my mom. It's one of my favorites because to me, it's kind of like the Hungarian version of carbonara. So whenever I try to explain this dish to people, I call it Hungarian carbonara. Even though there's no black pepper and it's not made with eggs, it still has that yummy, creamy, cheesy flavor from the curd cheese and then the salty, smoky flavor from the bacon. I think you'll really enjoy this dish once you give it a try. So let's get started. So for Turos Chusa, really it's four ingredients. So here in Hungary, you have these kotska or square noodles. These are very similar to our egg noodles in the States. So go ahead and use your favorite brand of egg noodles for this recipe. We have sour cream. We have our curd cheese. In the States, I recommend buying farmer's cheese, which comes in like a black shape. And we have slab bacon. So I'm preheating our pan for the bacon to about medium and then turning on the water for a rolling boil. So as you can see, the slab bacon has skin on the bottom. I'm going to remove this before slicing up the bacon. There you go. And this, if you want, you can use this in stock or just toss it. So I'm gonna cut these into slices first and then little slivers. So this kind of bacon is the kind of bacon that my mom likes to eat just like this. Okay, so the pan is still slightly cold. I like to add the bacon early on so there's less of a chance it'll stick. Sizzle, sizzle, cook, cook, sizzle, sizzle, cook, cook. The bacon wrap. So the water is off to a good start. I'm gonna add the salt now. It's time to add the pasta. And we'll give that about 10 minutes. In the meantime, the bacon is rendering really nicely. I want just a little bit more of the fat to cook out before I remove the bits. So at this point, I'm gonna kill the heat on the bacon and I'm gonna remove the crispy bits. If you have a slatted spoon, that's probably your best tool at this point, but I'm just gonna use the spoon I have. And of course, the bacon will continue crisping up even out of the skillet. And I'm just spreading it out on the plate so this way they won't stick together. So I've got the hot fat here. The heat is turned off, but it's still hot enough to heat up the curd cheese and the sour cream that I'm adding. You can just smell the sweet cheese cooking up. And now I'm gonna add the sour cream. And of course now you've pretty much cooled off the pan, but in just a minute, I'll be adding the hot noodles. So this is why it's called turo shusa, because you have this rich sauce that will slide down your throat. It's been cooking for about eight minutes, but I think it's ready to be added. I don't want it to get too soggy. So all I'm gonna do is just scoop the pasta right into the sauce. And we're going to incorporate all the cheese into the noodles. As you can see, it looks really nice and creamy. And the curd cheese still keeps its shape 
You can also make this with cottage cheese. It's just that the curds will be a lot larger and chunkier, but I prefer making this with farmer's cheese. But this is really what you want, nice and creamy. So we're ready to plate. So I wrote this recipe for two servings. Um, I eat a lot, but for some, this might be enough for like four people, but for me, this is two servings. Okay, I'm not gonna put all of it on the plate because then you're really gonna think that I'm hog. Now I'm gonna add some of the bacon to the top. So guys, I'm not gonna talk too much about this. I'm just gonna taste this now. <laughs> Perfect bite. This is one of those dishes that brings me back to my childhood. It's what I call a ratatouille moment. If, if you know that animated film, you know what I'm talking about. It's just so good. It really is like the Hungarian version of carbonara because it, it just ticks all those boxes of comfort food. It's cheese and bacon and pasta. Like it's like the three things that you want to eat. I'm kind of speechless right now because I just want to keep eating this. But I really want you to try this dish, especially if you're not familiar with Hungarian cuisine. If this is the first Hungarian dish you try, I'll be really proud. Let me know what you think about it in the comments.